All right, so before we take a look at Claptrap skills, we're gonna go ahead and uh, jettison this engine because we are halfway through our PAX Prime demo and we are going to get rid of this as a nice little kind of screw you to the bosun. And also because it kind of helps us get inside this tube that'll get us to his command center. Yeah, plus Pickle gets to salvage uh, what's left over from this engine. Yeah, it's a win-win. Yeah, and they didn't need the engine anyway. I mean, this is a crashed spaceship. What the heck are they gonna do with it? Yeah, were they gonna go on vacation? The answer is no, they yeah. weren't. I mean, maybe they could Sorry. barbecue or, you know. There, there. Strictly speaking, you didn't actually need to do that last bit, but I knew it would annoy him, so I thought, why not? Job well done. You're on your own, Vault Hunter. I've got fresh loot to sort. Head back to the core system room. We'll take care of the bosun's force field when you All right, so there. Pickle is leaving us to go take care of himself, but that's all right, because we've got the skipper who's going to help us get to the bosun. Uh, this seems like a great time for us to take a look at Claptrap's skills. Yeah, so uh, Claptrap's, Claptrap's action skill is called VaultHunter.exe, and we really designed it with his personality in mind. It's As you can see, it's a bit of, uh, you know, it's still beta software, and it doesn't quite run that well on his hardware. Uh, what it's supposed to do is analyze the situation in front of him and choose the best kind of skill to give him to take care of that situation. It doesn't always pick the most obviously awesome one, but they're all useful. Yeah. So, as it's going through it, it's going to go like, hey, maybe this time uh, it should be min uh, it should be Blight Trap, in which case it will sort of mimic uh, some of the abilities that, um, that Lilith the Siren had. Other times it might deploy a turret, like, uh, like Axis. It'll be a little bitty Claptrap turret, but it will pack a huge punch because yeah, it'll really shoot rockets powerful. everywhere. Yeah, this tiny little cute Claptrap shooting rockets out all over the place. But uh, another time you might get Clap in the Box, which is this giant bomb that's going to explode no matter what. And, uh, you know, this is really useful if you have a big crowd of people, but, you know, it could be annoying if you don't use it right. So we're going to take a look, I think, first at the Fragmented Frag Trap tree. Now, Fragmented Frag Trap is probably my favorite skill tree. I, I like to use it when I play as Clap Trap because uh, it forces me to change weapons more often. Now, this one has these weapon subroutines, so you can choose to go the uh, Assault Rifle su uh, subroutine or Melee subroutine or, or Shields, and what it's going to do is it's going to cycle through these subroutines. You've got this message up on screen, and whenever you see it come up, you're going to want to switch to that type of weapon because you're going to become a lot more powerful using that. Yeah, flexibility is definitely the name of the game. You can't get too comfortable with one gun because if the game says, like, shotgun and you're using an assault rifle, you better switch over because that's where the majority of your damage is going to go. Exactly, and this cycles through elements as well. And the really cool uh, thing about this one, the capstone actually unlocks the, uh, an action package which uh, Claptrap can then choose from when he uh, randomizes his action skill. And this has a laser disco ball which shoots out elemental lasers, all of the elements in this beautiful rainbow around it, all the scavs around him. Uh, I think the next one we're going to take a look at is the I Love You Guys tree. Now this is very much a co-op themed tree. It's, it's perfect for Claptrap as well because Claptrap really just wants someone to like him. So of course he has the entire skill tree dedicated to making him good in co-op. I think one of my favorite parts of this one is actually the capstone, court, the capstone skill because uh, he has this thing called High Five Guys. And if you hold down the melee button, his arm will prop up waiting for a high five from his co-op buddies. If he gets the high five, uh, everyone will get buffs and you'll see his cool little thumbs up going across the screen. If he's left hanging though, he'll go with into screw you guys mode <laughs> where he keeps all the buffs for himself. Yeah. And his little bitty thumbs down will pop up everywhere Aww. on his screen. And uh, the final skill tree, Boon Trap, is all about doing all kinds of uh, explosive damage, so you don't need to worry about other elemental types. Um, and the really uh, cool capstone for this one unlocks his uh, awesome pirate ship mode. So he'll actually turn into a pirate ship with uh, sails and, and cannons and everything and shoot cannonballs out to the tune of 1812 Overture, which is really, really useful against flying enemies. There's definitely some really cool things in this tree. Um, in the middle of the tree is this uh, thing that will happen in Fight for Your Life mode where he'll let out a little minion trap that will go and blow up around a nearby enemy, which is a great way to get back into the fight. I think for today we're going to put uh, our emphasis on the I love you guys tree. That way we can show off the high five. That's if uh, we're playing with someone that likes Claptrap. Who doesn't like Claptrap? They're out there, I've seen them. What? No, I don't believe you. Yeah, they, they usually hang out in dark corners. All right, and now that we have uh, all of our uh, skill points used, we're going to move on with the story. Yeah, we're going to get inside the engine core, and uh, 
hopefully go and disable that uh, that force field that was stopping us from getting to the military AI call before. And for this uh, for this demo, we have Nisha with us, uh, who some of you may remember from the previous uh, from the other video. Uh, Nisha's going to help us out here. Maybe see some of her skills in action as well. It's all right, Claptrap. You can make the jump. Yay, you did it. You're the best, Claptrap. <laughs> All right, we've got a pretty massive jump coming up here. But luckily, someone left a handy jump pad there. Yeah, jump pads are really fun in this game. Uh, they're not just a great way for, me, for you to get from point A to point B. It's also a great way to prime you for a slam attack. Yeah. Um, because you go so high into the air that you'll do even more damage because of how high you are when you've started. It's a really nice way to just say hello to an unsuspecting crowd of scavs. Uh-oh, poop deck oh. is gone. Someone's got to clean that mess up. Sorry. I don't even think the skip is trying to hide her intentions at this point. Yeah, I think the bosun, uh, sweet as he is, or at least as sweet as scabs go, uh, hasn't quite figured out what's going on here, but the skipper is definitely on our side and helping us out. Yep. All right, let's head down and see if we can see some awesome claptrap action skill. Nice <laughs> slam. And I think uh, we picked up Poop Deck's Ozkit, did we? Which makes a very classy yes. sound when you do a slam. Cross all the way. All right, what are we going to get? Okay, pop in the box. 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 Got to get in there. All right. Uh, Quad Take out that badass. Uh, get to get someone. Oh. What Clap in the Box does is uh, when that action action occurs, he gets this big old-timey bomb in front of him with a very short fuse. So you have a few seconds to find someone to detonate on, but when you do, you'll do a massive amount of damage. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of pressure, but yeah, you can take out a whole crowd if you do it right. Very pro second win there from Claptrap. All right, let's see what we get this time in the Claptrap roulette. Gun Wizard. Now this is going to make everyone shoot much faster and their reload speed much faster. And this affects everyone in the party as well. I think the great thing is like when I play as Claptrap, I definitely enjoy uh, playing up close. So something like Gun Wizard really helps out because I get to uh, uh, you know, have a, such a high rate of fire that I'm able to unload my magazine very quickly. Very yeah. high DPS. Your accuracy does go down a little bit, but yeah, if you're, if you're fighting up close like that, it's super useful. Look at that fun jump pad and action. I think yep. our Claptrap got a little lost, but that's all right. Yeah, his they GPS software isn't the best. That's what we have that handy uh, mini map in the top right corner for. That that beautiful waypoint indicator will tell you where to go. Yeah, I'm sure Claptrap will learn how to use that. But you know, I mean, Claptrap is new to the vault hunting uh, game, right? All you know. he usually looks for is doors to open. Yeah, exactly. All right, so should be able to turn out that force field and head towards the bosun. I really like the bosun's threats. Um, you know, they're they're so nonsensical, and he's really trying to scare us. But uh, you know, they just don't quite make sense. Yeah, earlier in the uh, in the demo. Uh, the bosun says that he wants to like rip out your brain and step on it with shoes made out of acid, <laughs> which is in in incredibly impossible. Yeah. And that's coming from a game that shoots acid bullets. <laughs> Science. Science, that's right. Oh, we got Gun Wizard again. Let's get up close and... No, I think actually uh, it looks like we have our own little bitty uh, version of Death Trap flying around, but of course in cute Clap trap form. He's gonna go on. He's gonna fly uh, around, and find enemies for us. Right. Uh, clearly inspired by the uh, by Gage the Mechamancer from Borderlands 2. There's a little bit of connections that we take from Borderlands 2 in this, but it's fun. 
Yeah, Claptrap's been around. He, he takes inspiration from uh, wherever he can get it. I think Claptrap's trying to get a high five, but Nisha won't have any Come ovens. On. Give Claptrap a high five. He's really trying hard. Yay! Yay. High Everyone fives. loves Claptrap. And everyone's stronger for it. And now boldened by the power of friendship. <laughs> Flash will take on the super badass scab all by himself. Who would have thought? Let's go action skill. Oh, we don't even need it. Whew. Beautiful, badass ice chunks. I think that's about all the fun we're going to have today with Claptrap, but please stay tuned for more Borderlands pre-sequel, which comes out in North America on October 14th. It comes out October 16th in Australia and October 17th internationally. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.